YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels is back with some more NFL content for the upcoming 2018 season. If you didn't know, I'm doing videos, a series of videos breaking down the best players, in my opinion, from each team. I did an AFC best offensive players from each team video, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. Now we're on to the NFC offensive players. I'll eventually get to each conference's um, defensive players. We're going to do breakout players, uh, myself predicting the breakout players for the 2018 season. A lot of stuff planned. A lot of stuff planned. We got you covered. We're going to get uh, more and more better content out there for you guys. So thanks for everyone's support. Our goal is 10K subscribers. So help us get there. We got you covered through the whole year. Whole year for the NFL. Uh, but no uh, specific order here. We'll start with the Niners. The best player on the Niners for offense-wise, I think, is Jimmy Garoppolo. He does need to show me more still. Uh, but maybe they don't have any dominant receivers, dominant running back. I am looking forward to seeing McKinnon. I think he'll be very good on the Niners. But um, pretty balanced is what I'm trying to say, which is good. And we saw the Eagles was a very, the Eagles were a very balanced team with plenty of depth, and that's what got them uh, their championship. But uh, Jimmy G, I went with their best offense player. But I, I do need to see more. Maybe people are overreacting, maybe overhyped a little bit. Not that he's not good. Obviously, I think he's good. I just, I just need to see more. Um, we're on to the Chicago Bears now. This is a little bit of a tricky one. It might seem pretty obvious, which reveal it here. It's Jordan Howard, uh, the running back. It seems pretty obvious because, I mean, he's been their best player. He's at the top, towards the top of the NFL in rushing yards the last two seasons, which people forget about. Uh, but this is why it's tricky is because there's been those rumors that he doesn't really fit their new offense, their naggy offense. Uh, maybe it's because he's not the greatest receiving back. Um, but he is a true running back, and I, I miss the I miss those guys. They're, they're kind of going away from the end of the true old school running backs that that really know how to run the ball in between the tackles, break tackles. They have the vision, and that that's what Jordan Howard has. So he to me is easily the best player. But it is tricky because uh, I'm trying to predict the 2018 season at the same time. Can it be Trubisky? Can it be Allen Robinson? Uh, they got a pretty solid line. Uh, can Anthony Miller, the rookie, step up? Can Kevin White be the player we thought he would be? A lot of, a lot of wait and see. we got to wait and see for the Bears, what I'm trying to say. Uh, but Jordan Howard has been their best player, and I think is their best player. Does Tariq Cohen step up? Maybe it fits the offense a little more. But I don't want Jordan Howard. Uh, on to the Bucks. Pretty obvious one here is Mike Evans. Uh, I think Winston has it in him to be their best player. But Mike Evans, I talked about before, uh, there's very few wide receivers left that are that old school bailout wide receiver but they they can do more than that obviously these guys have speed too but um just just if you just have no choice but to throw the ball up this is one of your guys that you want in the nfl that's going to come down with it and that's maybe my maybe my favorite part about some of these receivers is it's there's, there's a shortage on them still so i went with uh i went with mike evans for the buccaneers best offensive player i the cardinals uh pretty easy one here david johnson even though he didn't play last year he's one of the best running backs in the game if he's on the field that's obvious to me um so let's hope let's hope he stays healthy uh not just for the cardinals fans just for the league for for fantasy owners that's just he was a well, he had to have been the first overall pick in a lot of leagues last year that is very unfortunate um so I'm, I'm predicting he's staying healthy this year and having a darn good year so he's their best player uh offensive wise for the cardinals uh the cowboys is next maybe a little bit of surprise here i went with tyron smith it could be Zeke, could be Dak, but I think most people would say Zeke. Um, but Tyron Smith, I mean, they missed him at times last year, and they missed Zeke at times last year. To me, it was more obvious when Tyron Smith was out. I mean, they are so dominant with him in, and they struggle so much with him out. Um, I think he's a big reason uh, that the passing game is better when he's in, and run game. He's a very good run blocker for a tackle. He really... Uh, pushes that end outside, creates big holes for Zeke Elliott. But Zeke Elliott is a dominant player. Um, he, If you say he is their best player offensive-wise, I'm not going to really disagree with you, but I honestly think it's Tyron Smith. It's just so dominant. Maybe the best left tackle in football. Uh, Eagles, it's Carson Wentz. Even though they won a Super Bowl without him, he got them that number one seed, which was so important. People don't realize how important that was. Uh, so and then arguably the MVP of last year, even though he didn't win it, uh, he was definitely considered. So going forward, he's got to be their best player. Um, there is a chance. I know there is a chance that we see a little bit of struggle because he still, um, obviously, he will play good. He will play good football, more more good than bad, obviously. 
But coming off the injury and being young still, we could see at times uh, a little bit of struggle just, just here and there. It's a possibility is what I'm saying. But I think he's a dominant player in the NFL already, and he's going to get better. So it's very impressive. Uh, my favorite thing about him is his ability to roll out, throw on the run. is very impressive. You don't see that from a lot of quarterbacks these days. The Falcons are next. You could go Matt Ryan. You honestly could go at running the running backs too. But I thought of Tulio Jones, a dominant receiver in today's NFL. Uh, it just really has every part of, of the game for receivers. Has the speed. Uh, he he has the size. He has the run after catch abilities. He can catch any ball. Just a dominant receiver, dom- dominant player overall in the NFL today. So I went with Julio Jones there. To the Giants. I went with Odell Beckham Jr. Could be Saquon Barkley already, but we haven't seen him play a snap yet. Odell is a dominant, another dominant receiver if healthy. Uh, really, just like Julio, has every part of the game you ask the receiver to have. And uh, let's hope he stays healthy. Um, I, I just think it's pretty clear this one. I think Saquon could be in the future, but it's got to be Odell. Uh, the Lions are next. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit of a surprise here for some people, but it's my honest opinion. I think Marvin Jones is the Lions' best offensive player. I mean, Stafford is a solid quarterback. I don't know if he's ever lived up to, to the hype, though. I don't know if he's ever been as good as some people think. He's very good, but I think he could be better. Um, you got Golden Tate, but Marvin Jones, to me, is a dominant receiver, another receiver that has every part of the game. He's got speed, he's got length, catch the ball anywhere on the field, can play slot, can play outside. Uh, I think he's very, very underrated. I think he, I think he's their best player. It, it's it. I didn't have to really – some of these I got to, I had to think about. You would think I had to really think about this one between him, maybe Stafford. But it was right away. I, I really like – I'm a big Marvin Jones fan. To uh, – well, back to Marvin Jones. Uh, the Bengals, without him, you know, him next to H.A. Green was just impressive, and we didn't realize how important that was until he's gone. So it's just another thing I wanted to throw out there. But on to the Packers, uh, it's Aaron Rodgers. Uh, we can go on to the next team. Uh, on to the Panthers, it's Cam Newton. I think we can go on to the next team. It's pretty obvious. Can Christian McCaffrey uh, step up? But uh, Cam Newton's the best player. It's pretty obvious to me. DJ Moore, will he be? He's going to be a factor, but he can't. he's not their best player. It's Cam Newton. On to the Rams, another obvious one. Todd Gurley, uh, maybe the best running back in football. I will be in the near future be doing my position-by-position position rankings. Does he make number one on my list? We will see. But uh, he was the best running back in football last year, so can he do it again? Jared Goff, does he get even better? Does he come in contention for this list? They got a pretty solid offensive line, but I, to me it was no-brainer. It was Todd Gurley. Uh, to the Redskins, Trent Williams. Offense line from on the Redskins plays left tackle for him, and they they missed him big time last year, big time. Um, showed very much, in my opinion, over the past few years, he was the best. Really, I would have told you he was the best offense lineman in football after last year. Can you still say that since he didn't play? Um, but they need him desperately. He's a no-brainer if he's on the field. He's he's their best player. Um, to the Saints, this was this one I really had to think about actually. I'm a big Alvin Kamara guy. Um, I think he's their guy of the future. He was so dominant um, in in both the pass game and the run game. But I, I went with Drew Brees. He's just Drew Brees has to be playing good, more than good, for them to be a contender like they have been. And, and he can even at his in this age, he can play at that level. So I think for another year, I think it's Drew Brees. But then you can start to look at Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara. Um, but I did really consider Kamara here. I really did. He's a big fan, and he's so dominant. We start to see when he start to, last year when he was used more. The Saints started winning more. But it's really on Breeze. Like if Breeze plays the way he plays, they're a good team. If 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 he starts to go on a decline out of nowhere, they're not a good team. That's pretty much what it is. But uh, everyone's confident he will, he will be good, no doubt. Uh, to the Seahawks, it's Russell Wilson. All right, on to the last team, uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, very tough one. Sorry for the lack of talk about some of these teams, Packers, Seahawks. I thought it was just very, very obvious. Don't really need to go into depth. But the Vikings, this one I really thought about. This is probably the, out of the AFC and NFC offense teams I probably had the hardest time with. Because Kirk Cousins going into a better team has been a very good quarterback already and going into a better team with better targets. Um, he could be very dominant. Could be by the end of the year their best player. Delvin Cook 
big Dalvin Cook fan. He was number six on my big board two years ago. Uh, and he was so dominant before he got hurt, may have led the league in rushing, may have won Rookie of the Year. He was on pace for maybe at least one of those. Uh, catch the ball to the backfield very well. I think, honestly, I think it will be Dalvin Cook. I think he will be their best player by the end of the season. But uh, it's very close, and, and you got to consider last year a little bit here. The two receivers, Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen was their guy last year, the route running is just ridiculous. It's it's maybe the best in football. Um, the hands are ridiculous. The big plays. Um, but I look at Stephon Diggs, and it's pretty obvious now. I, I chose Stephon Diggs. Uh, being only 24 years old right now, I think he he was good right when he came in the league. It was surprising. But he's gotten faster. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten to be an excellent route runner. He was already a good route runner, but maybe learning from Thielen. Uh, but the main factor, being only 24 years old, I think he's getting better and better. He's going to continue to get better. Uh, maybe the best uh, yards after catch receiver in football. I swear the guy has eyes in the back of his uh, the back of his head, and he makes the the big plays that he makes. I think going forward, I think Stephon Diggs, he's already ridiculous, and I think uh, he he takes it here. But it could have been Thielen. It could be Dalvin Cook. It it, it could be Kirk Cousins. Uh, they got some weapons. Maybe maybe no guy that's considered 100% elite yet, but they have their weapons. Um, and we know their defensive one will be tough too because they have their weapons on defense. But that'll do it for the NFC best offense players, in my opinion. We'll keep rolling on with this. Next up should be the, the AFC best players on defense and NFC defense players. And I'm going to do breakout player from each team, in my opinion. We got plenty of NFL coverage planned. Uh, plenty of content to come. Thanks for thanks for everybody's support. Thanks for liking videos. Thanks for subscribing. If you if you haven't done any of that yet, please do so. Uh, we need more support. Our goal is 10k subscribers, so help us get there. That'll be much appreciated. But that'll do it for this one. Stay tuned for more in the near future. Goodbye.